Hi guys, my name is Crystal. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I will not get upset today. I will not get cross. I'm going to go out and take my dog Max for a walk later on. The cleaners have been in the building. Um, we've had an Iceland delivery to the flat. So I went to the co-op and I spent an extortionate £37 on shopping yesterday. £37 just on basics. I mean, cat food's gone up, milk's gone up, extortionate prices. Alexa, what's the time, please? It's 10.09 a.m. Alexa, good morning. Good morning. On this day in 1698, Peter the Great of Russia introduced a tax on beards. Bearded men had to pay or be publicly shaved. Yikes. Right, so the hairy bus has gone down Corey's road. The hairy bus, woof woof, beep beep, the hairy bus has gone down Corey's road. I've never had a beard in my life. Wink, wink, I haven't. I've never had a beard. There's no point in getting upset. I mean, this hairy bus goes down Common Creek Wharf. It goes right round. It goes everywhere. It doesn't go just down Corey's Road. I don't know where they're based. Perhaps they can uh, give my dog a, a nice uh, groom, this hairy bus. So we're going to the 4th of July 2022. I told you that last year was a better year for going out. Went to Canvas Sands and I went to Gravesend with my son a couple of times as well. So th this year has been totally by myself. So we're going back to the 4th of July 2022 and the 5th of July 2022. We are going back to what happened yesterday, Independence Day in the USA. So I got up, fed Nikki and Snowball, my two cats, and Max, my dog. Made coffee, ate a banana for breakfast. Then I received a WhatsApp call from my son. Did I want to go to Hearn Bay? I said I needed to take Max out for a walk first, and he said he would call me his mother back in 20 minutes. I then worried, hurried about looking for Max's dog lead and my black cat, found them and went out my front door. I passed the female cleaner who shouted out, good morning, in a foreign accent. I said morning back, I felt okay, happy, the sun was out. Walked around the riverside and Max got a shorter walk than normal and I passed a man walking two black dogs on the way back. Got back in the flat. My neighbour upstairs was in. His Ford Mondeo parked outside. He coughed really loudly. <coughs> I looked out of the window. It looked like a porn set. One girl had a very short top and shorts on with black fish net tights. A couple, male and female, in their young twenties walked past again. The female was wearing a very, very short skirt. I started to feel miserable and ugly and horrible, a complete contrast to what I felt when I had woken up. My son took longer to ring back on WhatsApp and he said he was outside Costa Coffee and could I walk up there? I had got a beach bag ready with towel to go to Herne Bay. He said it had got colder and suggested Graves End instead. He had a Costa coffee and he'd had something to eat. So I got to the co-op and a couple of men were talking about something stinky. Again I began to feel horrible and upset. I talked to my son and we then headed off to Graves End. Can you see now why I go outside with the camera? So it can pick up these people saying these things behind my back and to my side. And it's not in my head. They are actually, they're either plants stood there trying to upset me to prevent me going out somewhere. Or they 
they were talking about something stinky. My son suggested stopping at Tesco supermarket, Charles Street Stroop. He said he had no money, he, so my son's been on TV, he'd been on a TV studio set in Manchester on Saturday and he'd spent all his money. He was filming, he'd been filming for a TV show. He told me all about the TV shoot before we got to Tesco's. He said he was very famous now. My son was. He said he chose outfits. Yeah, he went on a show, basically. He went on a show in Manchester. Well, I'm not going to go into all that. There's no need to go to that. My son was wearing mirrored sunglasses and a short set light brown in colour. He drove into Tesco's car park and I went in there by myself. I had money and £13 in scratch cards. I smelt that something was going on. As soon as I walked into Tesco's I was treated like shit. Two women, assistants, talking to each other and ignoring me at the counter, I found very rude. The one horrible woman took my cards out of my hands, snatched them, turned her nose up at me, never spoke one word and plonked my money on the desk like I was a bad smell. Never looked me once in the eye, never smiled. The next customer was treated like royalty. And I did go up to that woman and I told her that she never spoke one word to me during that transaction. I've never worked in Tesco's in my life and I wouldn't want to by the way I was treated by their staff. I not only felt upset like really sad that some people behave in this foul manner, I felt dirty, abused and mistreated. Angry. I had to shop for food afterwards. I'm in the process of constructing an email to Tesco's head office. There should be no prejudice, including racism, ageism, genderism in customer service. No assistant should show hatred against the customer. Clearly this woman was displaying wrong behaviour. No one should be treated in this manner, not even a tramp or an alcoholic. Remember that my son had said that he was famous, not me. I'm just an ordinary common member of the public. I got a ham sandwich, which turned out to be stale, had crusts, a horrible, unpleasant experience. So I went back to my son's car, sat in the passenger seat, and we headed off to Gravesend. Parked near the car park. I paid £3.80 for three hours parking, cash coins. We walked to where the fountain was, nice and cool, but it smelt smelly, it stank of sewers. An oily substance floating on the water, brown and the swans and ducks were swimming in it. A man like my father Derek was sat down with a grey cap on, on a bench near the water at the back of the cafe. He was also rather large with a long grey beard. My father Derek was a large big man with a grey beard and glasses. Another man was sat next to him. It was like Laurel and Hardy. We took photos. I messed about on the swing and then we went to the cafe. I had £10 to spend. A really ancient nice old lady served us with false teeth. She had a younger female assistant. A tips jar had a fair few pound coins in it. Remember, my son said he had no money. I only had ten pounds. In front of me was this jar full of pound notes and coins. I decided on a cup of Horlicks for three fifty and a large Bakewell tart. My son had a coffee. I bought everything. We then went to the Riverside Edge, sat down 
and I'd got food for the birds, we fed them. The Derek lookalike had now taken his top off to reveal a Michelin man belly with his legs wide open. So I, I just sat and read the Sun newspaper next to an awful stench of silage up my nose for over three hours. Various people walked by my son and I, kids with dogs, mobility scooters. The smell was making me feel headachy and sick. A man came along only minutes afterwards with a drone in a case. He unleashed this drone and it flew very, very close to my head. All I needed was a bang on my head again. He got fed up after me taking no notice and he wandered off. We went back home. A bit of a near miss car accident on the way home. My son had to stamp on his brakes quickly as a car pulled out without giving way and nearly crashed into the side of my son's car. My whole body and neck was pulled backwards and I found swallowing difficult for a while. He carried on driving and he got home to mine about 3pm and the guy upstairs had gone out. I went to my flat to get Max to take for a walk after buying bananas and drinking the co-op. My son stayed for about 40 minutes. I took Max back and David went to get us a coffee with my remaining money. Then my neighbour's car was outside the co-op. My neighbour's Ford Mondeo was then outside the co-op when me and my son had just gone in there. He was inside with his kids. The coffee David had got tasted nasty. I got driven home, parked outside the flats near him upstairs. Car. By now, the guy upstairs had driven outside the flats. 